I was pretending I know how to do makeup. Um, I cut the whole bit because I don't. All right, and this is the Tuesday makeup look. Just simple, but a lot. But honestly, like during the week, I can get ready in like 15 minutes. Like if it's just like, you know, this is called last night's going to bed. Can you just eat? This is going to bed with wet hair. You know what I mean? Like this is a night shower, going to bed with wet hair look. Just curly Sue. And just like a, a quick 15 minute makeup. Like I can be ready in like 15, 20 minutes during the week. But like if we go out on the weekends, I need two hours from shower to like finish. From shower to finish. Shaving, all of it. I need two hours. So you better tell me ahead of time. You know, it's just enough to get by on. <laughs> like, Dada, listen, like, go to Lowe's. Go to Lowe's when you're, like, not, like, made up and it's got your sweatpants and shit on. Go to Lowe's. See how many people try to help you. And then go to Lowe's when you've, like, got your makeup done, your hair is done. All them hoes in there try to help you. All those dudes in there, like, they help. Try it out. Test it out. Seriously. There was a point in my life I went to Lowe's a lot. When I was like doing a lot more remodeling, I was at Lowe's all the time. And bitch, when I would go in there super dusty and like didn't, nobody tried to help me. Nobody tried to help me. Oh, but then like it was a Friday. I had my like, you know, I was dressed up for the weekend. Mm -hmm. Can I help you with anything? Can I help you with anything? You know, we're going to actually call this. This is a work day in my life is what this is. This is a work day in my life is what we're doing. So now I'm just getting, I'm sitting down, I gotta do some paperwork. And, oh my gosh, you guys, when I tell you, like, what is this, a fucking slinky? Like, you gotta get a slinky, 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 go, slinky, go! Ah! <laughs> what are we doing here? This is actually a thermostat. So the thermostat and the pop cooler went out. <clears throat> never a dull moment down there like never a dull moment when i tell you i don't even want to say it out loud because i believe like you talk things into existence but when i tell you like so the thermostat went out on the pop cooler so it's been a good time but you know what do we do we just get new thermostats so i already got one a thermostat i gotta go see if it was put in last night so just on the list of things to do today i just got myself ready i will say this coach purse has done me solid it's been a good purse to me. It really has. So, just I'm in black all the time. It's a blackout over here, okay? We got Jordan on Puma on Crazy Hair Don't Care. Like, this is what we do on a Tuesday. This is a Tuesday vibe right here. So we're off to go because, like, we're lifting shit. We're carrying shit. You know, it's kind of a physical job. This is, like, Tuesdays are physical. So we have to wear, like, the appropriate physical outfit for that. So... Tuesday fit. What up? I'm like panting out of breath from these stairs at my house. It's it's not good. I've been walking for like six months and I'm like still out of breath. Like what? What? All right. So you guys, I just got a new, so I just got a new camera guys. I will say the quality is a lot better. I can definitely tell. Hopefully you guys can tell. Um, wow, these sunglasses are aggressive. <laughs> They're aggressive. I just always think I have to get, like, big sunglasses because I have big eyes. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm gonna need a, like, a lens that can cover these babies. So we are headed to GFS, and then I've got to go to the bank. I actually, I need a notary, some papers notarized. You know, buying a car online, mm, it's okay. It's okay. Um, for some reason I thought it'd be like click a button. It's a little more difficult than that, but I've never bought a car online before, so it's my first time. All right, so that's our day. Let's get it started. Hey, yo. Oh, Let's wait a minute. Go. We need music. I can't live without music. Oh, hell no. Oh, hell no. Where's our cord? See, we won't have to deal with these problems in a couple weeks from now. I gotta go get my cord in the house. It was under my ass the whole time. I just went in the house for like, it's gonna be hard, you know? Life's gonna be hard when you're this, when you're this slow, you know? <laughs> like I cannot be in a car without music. Like I just can't. 
Like it's like, it's impossible. Can't do it. All right, y'all. So let's, let's finally get out of the driveway. <laughs> All right. So I just left the bank. I just got my papers notarized for the new car and now we're off to GFS. Also, if you guys need a notary, just go to your local bank. If you're like a member at the bank, they'll, there's usually like a notary there. So I just learned that today. So fun fact for everybody. So there's a few bathrooms that I'll use on my journey throughout the day. GFS is one of them. They got a clean bathroom, so. And sometimes, you like that. <laughs> Hello, what can I get started for you today? Hi, can I do a large non-fat matcha frappuccino? Okay. And can I have an extra shot of espresso? Add a shot of espresso, yeah. And no whipped cream? No whip, yeah. Would you like anything else? That'll do it. So the venti matcha cream frappuccino with shot added to it with non-fat and then no whip? Perfect. Six seven five. Thank you. You know, random thing, I've been Globbering in my head. Like if a famous person wanted to date like a regular, like a regular schmegular, they would have to stalk you, wouldn't they? They would have to stalk you because you could ruin their life and their whole career. Just like a little light stalking, background check, credit score, <laughs> how many times have you been to jail? <laughs> like they would have to, right? They would literally have to stalk you. You already know what I'll do for this. Literally, morally degrade myself for one of these. <laughs> I just gotta give you like that first sip feeling. You guys know it. The espresso, like stop it. Oh my God. Oh my gosh, it's so good. All right, so I'm gonna chug this. We're gonna head back to the bar. We're gonna unload everything. Where y'all going? Where's everybody going? Shoot the gap. Shooter my gap in. <laughs> You're in big trouble though, pal. I eat pieces of shit like you for breakfast. <laughs> Did I just say shooter my gap in? Oh my god, stop it. Alright, so I just got back home, dropped everything off at the bar, unloaded everything. People were in a good mood today. People were having a good time today. So now I just have to do. I gotta do keno, I gotta do payroll, I gotta do accounting, I've got to do billing. <sighs> I gotta sign papers. <laughs> Just like a lot of paperwork. I have like a few hours of probably paperwork. And I usually like break it down, like I'll get like a few tasks done, then I'm gonna go for a walk, have some Sarah time, then I'll come back and finish payroll and blah, 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 blah. So that's where the day is right now. So I am gonna get my ass into some paperwork. So like the cool thing about my job is like I can more or less make my own schedule. And like, I don't have to be up at a certain time or do, you know what I mean? There's some freedom, but also like at the end of the day, every single week there is a list of duties that have to be done no matter what. Like there's no getting out of it. There's no like, let's take a week off. Like I can't do that. So though there is freedom and like, Thank God, like God knew I wasn't gonna get out of bed after 10.30, like he knew that. So he blessed me with a job <laughs> that I can make my own schedule. So, you know, it's like, there's freedom, but I'm still a slave to my job like everybody else, but there is freedom and I can kind of like bank it out how I want to. Like I could technically get everything done in two and a half days if I'm like really on it and organized and have my shit together. Like if I wanna go on vacation or something, but I can't go for long. Like I've got like five days in me. If I go anything longer than five days on vacation, I get like anxiety and like, I just can't do it. So though there is freedom, there is like, you know, pros and cons, like everybody's job has pros and cons. So that's kind of my gig. But yeah, God knew I wouldn't get out of bed till 1030. So he's like, let's give her a job. She can make her own schedule. <laughs> Hey 
can always tell it's early in the week because I'm like puckered. <laughs> Bitch is out of breath. Look how pretty. It's like beautiful, but it's like chilly too. Like it's brisk out here. So yeah, like like four times a week or I feel like a bum. Starting to see some results, you know? It's also hard to see your results too, because like you live in your body, you know? So it's kind of like hard to tell. Keeps me motivated. There's a car coming, this is not awkward. 30 pounds from now, I would be like over the moon. It's Jason. <laughs> Jason? Yeah, it's Jason. I gotta pee so damn bad. So damn bad. Alright, so it's around like 5.30 and I'm just gonna make myself a little... I don't know, I like these healthy choices. They're really good. I always get this one, and then I also get like the, um, I think it's like a pesto chicken is really good. It's only 280 calories, and so I'll probably have this. I'll just snack on like a few of these, or my favorite has been like um, a banana peanut butter and like a little bit of whipped cream topping, um, which I think is still like low, lower, I don't know, there's protein and shit in there, so it's better for you. And the almonds, like I try to, I try to like somewhat keep track of, you know, like calorie count, carb count. I try to do like my carbs in the morning, less at night, so. But I'm really noticing like my daily routine. I had to like switch up my daily routine to really kind of like, I feel like that's where I've seen like most of the progress. Like. Like, I used to eat, like, a lot of, like, deli sandwiches for lunch. Like, I don't do that anymore. Um, a lot of carb smart stuff. <laughs> it's ready. <laughs> um, like, a lot of, like, carb smart stuff. But the biggest thing is, like, my daily routine. Like, I definitely, I started incorporating exercise. Um, different meals. Sometimes I like skip meals altogether. It really helped me. Also, waking up like an hour earlier than I used to. It seems a little trivial, but I promise you, like that one hour I have time for myself and to have like a routine and actually make myself a healthy breakfast instead of like stopping somewhere and like fast food or Subway or like, you know what I mean? So I think that's really helped me out a lot, but that's kind of where I'm at right now. Made progress, like slow and steady wins the race kind of thing. But I definitely, I also have like Taco Bell sometimes and like, you know, crap. I still eat crap, <laughs> just a lot less. Oh my God, I left my avocado. <laughs> I left my avocado out from breakfast. That's cool. Oops. So that little baby, these are so good too. I don't care what you say. These are actually delicious. A little more. Alright. I lost the ball. I lost the ball. It's good. I swear it's good. <laughs> Alright, so I'm just gonna eat my little spaghetti meatball dinner and put a podcast on and finish some paperwork. So I like to like I don't know, I've been into podcasts. Like I'll definitely like I'll put a podcast on and like do like clean the house or just like do my paperwork or do my billing and stuff. There's like little nuggets. I swear you find little nuggets in these podcasts of information. Like things like blockchains and like shit I have no, I still don't understand what the fuck a blockchain is. <laughs> I've like researched it. Like I kind of get it, but I don't get it. But I find like these podcasts and stuff, like you can really find some like little nuggets of information, so. And the Aquarius in me, I just like, I like knowledge, so. Like I go in and out of like, like some days I'm like, this is so stupid. This is just a distraction from the big picture of like what's really going on. And then other days it's like, you know, I need to know what little Miss Tara's world had for breakfast. Like I battle myself, but I really love like, 
for me I found out I need to have some kind of creative outlet or I will like get depressed like straight up I can't live Groundhog's Day I have to have something creative going on that I I can put my energy into and I don't know I'm just like a weird I don't know like one of those weird creative people that I and I'm not even that good at it I just like have to have an outlet so I found that out about myself <laughs> I went through all the phases like a painting phase and like a like I went through all the phases so but I really like YouTube so I can be creative and kind of edit it was really fun it's fun for me but also I kind of quit like doing like brand deals and stuff because it started to feel like okay this is becoming like overwhelming like I wanted to start this this is kind of a me thing it's like for me to have a creative outlet and have fun on my terms and my kind of time if I've got a lot going on at the bar like I don't want to like bring on more things for me to do so yeah, kind of my skis, my little skis now is. It's tough. It is tough. Are you kidding me? I just like washed all these dishes and then yeah. We figure this out. You guys, there's nothing we can't do. We can do anything. I'm so sick of things beeping at me. I've had enough of shit beeping at me. Anyways, let's try this mango, banana, jalapeno. That's fucking beautiful. I think I might be onto something there. That is fucking gorgeous. It's like sweet, but like... It's like some surprising little. All right, so that concludes our Tuesday work day, day in the life with me. So thank you guys so much for watching and until next time.